For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. As we come upon the end of another year, we're not guaranteed another year. The wages of sin is death. Paycheck payday may be today. And the eternal life that happens after death will be based upon what you do with Jesus Christ before you die. Now God has a standard. And that is that standard of eternal life. It is not in religion. It is not determined upon your goodness. There is no line on your tax forms that God will approve to enter into heaven. There is no scientific means to be approved by God. The God of mathematics that created adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplication, the answers thereof will not get you pleasing with God. There is one that has said, Jesus Christ, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Not of works, lest any man boast, for by grace are you saved. There is none that doeth good no, not one. There is none righteous. The fact is, if you were searching honestly for God, you would be found of God. But the human nature of man bargain shops for a God that would be pleasing to his sin. Santa Claus will judge you naughty or nice, but he will not cast you into hell. And yet he will give you a coal, which lit will bring forth a fire. There is no Santa Claus. There is no judgment of the Easter Bunny upon being good or bad children. And yet God judges sins for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Upon this great coveting season of Christmas of your sins of using plastic you will be entitled in January to open up an envelope and see how much you owe Back to the places you have purchased your junk. And I guarantee some of that junk you bought brought displeasure to those that received it. And if you only kept the receipt. And yet there is a purchase above all purchases that has been made and it's been made by God Acts 20:28 20, is by the blood of Jesus Christ who is God he has purchased our souls if we were to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved the lamb of God which take away the sin of the world now you may bring that junk back to the stores and get what you want. 
get the size that was improper for you to wear. And yet the salvation of God fits all, male and female. There's no in-between. It fits all races of people. It fits all human beings born of a woman, according to the book of Job. Man that is born of a woman needs, must be born again. You are born into sin. It's why you start screaming the day you're born. Children from an early age pick up the sinning of stealing or lying or thinking how great they are. And that is sin. The fact is, we are sinners. Whether you believe what the Bible says, the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that the fact is the Lamb of God which came to take away the sin of the world. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Come now, let us reason together. Before you taste death, you must deal with with your sin condition. If you choose to elect not to deal with your sin, if you choose that, oh well, there is no God, there is no hell, if you think that there's a party in hell, if you're to think that my religion is good enough, I am so much better than Jesus, I can get through. You have deceived yourself by the great deceiver, Satan. With Jesus Christ coming as the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world, we have that sin, for all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. If there's one thing the human race has that all have, whoever you may be, we are all sinners. There are sinners who are not washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. And they will be found wanting. There are sinners that are washed in the Lamb of God. And they will be found pleasing of God. One sin entitles you to be a sinner. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not. To him, it is sin. And when I preach the good news, the gospel, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, you are now at fault. You have heard what the Bible says. You have heard what God has said. And you will be without excuse. The fact is that Jesus suffered and died. And was buried. And arose again the third day. The Bible calls that the gospel. Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. That also means good news. So when James says to him that knoweth to do good, that would be to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And if you don't, 
To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. And when you reject Jesus Christ, that is the only sin that puts you in hell. Adultery, murder, child molestation, theft, lies, don't put you into hell. That classifies you as a sinner. But the rejection of Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The people that are in the church age that are in hell today is because they said no to the gift of God. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And to the gift of God they said no. And to the entrance of heaven when they died, God said no. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And when you tell God no to the gospel, to the finished work of Jesus Christ, when you want to gain into heaven, that loving God will tell you no. When you reject Jesus Christ, God is not going to show forth His love. He's going to show forth His wrath. Because you have not believed on the name of the only begotten Son of God. And John the Baptist says, He that has the Son, capital S-O-N, has everlasting life. And he that has not the Son, capital S-O-N, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. No Jesus, no life. Reject Jesus, and you reject the love of God. You are not good enough to enter into the presence of God, for God said, Be holy, for I am holy, and you're not, and I am not. We need a mediator between God and man. That mediator is not Mary. It is Jesus Christ, the righteous. Jesus Christ, the sinless. Jesus Christ, who is God. Jesus Christ, who is God, manifested in the flesh. That is the reason that God will let you into heaven. That is the way that God will allow you into heaven. When Jesus said, I am the way, and man comes up with other ways, you are calling Jesus a liar. Jesus says, I am the way. You say, well, I'm a Baptist. I was baptized. I was good. I gave money. I was a good citizen. I was an American. And you're leaving Jesus there. Saying, I am the way. How dare you say there are other ways? When there isn't. In the eyes of God. And yet, the freedom that God gives us called a free will. God says, ye must be born again. And the free will of God says, I don't believe that. The free will of God is, that guy that preaches to us is an idiot. 
That is so foolish what he does every Saturday. I wish he shut up. I wish he go away. And God has given you that ultimate freedom to reject his word. To your shame. To you putting asunder being with God for all eternity. And if you reject God, God will throw you into hell where there is no God. There is no love, joy, and peace. Because God is love, and if you don't want God, you're not going to get His love. It's impossible to have love without God. The love that Satan shows is a love that will get women pregnant and the child to be fatherless for their entire life. That's the love of Satan. If there would ever to be love of Satan. Because the Bible says, John 8, 44, that the lust of your father, Satan, you will do. Lust is not love. And too many young girls learn that too late in life to realize that was not love and I can't do nothing about it. If you're to look at the characteristics of Jesus Christ, the man, he is the love and the answer of every young girl's dreams. He comes on a white horse. He will fight the victories and become victorious for the love of a woman. He is strong in heart. He is all loving. He can provide you your needs. He has a great father. You can be part of a great royal family through Jesus Christ. And he can love you without sin. He can love you unto death. And He can love you past death. See, a man can love a woman to death do you part. But Jesus Christ can love you from death to all eternity. Death does not stop the love of God when you believe on Jesus. When you die in the love of lust of Satan, you will surely get a burning passion that never goes away. As you will swim in the lake of fire forever. That's what the, I can't say love of Satan. For God so loved the world in the condition that we are. Sinners, reprobate, blasphemers, disobedient. And Christ left the throne of heaven and said, I will go suffer and die for them. Knowing, knowing many will go the broad way that leads to destruction. Knowing, I will send those few that do go through the, through the gate of life, I will send them to preach the gospel to the world that God loves. Again, many rejecting the love gift. I would find it very hard to believe that on December 25th that a gift that was in your presence that you were to say, no, I am not going to open that gift because it's from that person. Leave it over there. Don't give me that gift. I reject that gift from that person. I, I don't believe anybody would say that. And yet, on a Saturday, 
after Christmas. The gospel still preach. It's still the gift of God. And you say, no, I don't want that gift from God. I reject that gift. Send it back. Take that gift giver and let him go home. Leave us alone. It's a gift that's not just a particular time of year. It's a gift throughout all years. The gift of God which is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And you reject that gift as if it were a plague. You reject that gift as though it would be a disease. And you reject that gift to your own damnation. Because without the gift of God, there is no eternal life. There is the wrath of God, and the wrath of God is hell. We may say, go to hell. But you do not want God to tell you to go to hell. We can laugh off, go to hell, but you will not laugh off when the holy and righteous God tells you to go to hell. It is the love of God that you're hearing about heaven and hell. People need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved into a holy abode with God. I can give you food and fatten you up for hell, but that would give you no advantage. Lord said, have proper communications with your mouth, sir. Imagine speaking like that from a bunch of women. See, there we go. There go to hell. Here's a Bible, sir. You want to show me where it says that? You show me where it says that. Salvation is easily wrought. And that easily to be wrought is by Jesus Christ alone. And the Bible proclaims that wisdom cries without. She cries out in the chief of concourse. And how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and the fools hate knowledge? Socialism is not a gospel given to you everything we have. It is Christianity that Jesus Christ has given everything that we need. And everything that Jesus Christ has given us is the blood of God that we may be saved. The Bible says, as far as your family, you're going to get a job, work for your money, and then you're worse than an infidel if you don't. The Bible. Don't believe to say things that fools say it says says you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There is a period of time coming called death. Death is coming. But we don't know when death is coming. Some of us may not see 2019. Some of us has already planned resolutions for 2019. And the fact is, there's no promise, but there is a promise to eternal life. And that eternal life brought to Jesus. And only Jesus. And if you don't choose to believe in God, you will be in hell. It's that plain and simple. And you'll still have no water. You'll have no food, you'll have no alcohol, you'll have no love, no care, 
no mercy, no grace, because you will reject what God has offered, and that offering is Jesus Christ. And we stand here amidst God's blessings, blessings of fruits and vegetables, and yet we don't thank God. And when we stand here with fruits and vegetables given by God, and when you hear that God's message is Jesus Christ and it is rebuked, it is hated, it is scorned, and you expect God to cast his love upon you and magically want give you everything you want is a lie. The love of God is Jesus Christ. Death is coming. We don't know when death shall strike. We never plan our day turning off the alarm clock and saying today is the day. Though it has happened, there has been people say today is the day and it's happened, but that, does, that doesn't happen to the majority. And why is it that the Word of God is so hated? Because it's the truth. And you think in your heart you want the truth. And yet the words of the Apostle Paul were, Have I become your enemy? Because I've told you the truth. And it's not me, it's not Paul, it's the preaching and the convicting and the conscience of the Holy Spirit work on your on your heart saying, you're the guilty one he's speaking to. Did you hear what he said? He said the religion you believe in ain't going to make you safe. Did you hear him say that you're the sinner? Did you hear him say that only Jesus Christ is the... That's your conscience. That's what you hate. You hate the Holy Spirit speaking through you to say that preaching is correct, that preaching is right. I approve of that preaching. Those are lovely feet of the preacher. Romans chapter 10. Proverbs chapter 1 is you scorn, you reject. Pro uh, the book of Psalms, you say there's no God. And the Bible calls you Proverbs 1 and the book of Psalms calls you a fool. That's scripture. That's scripture. And as much as those scriptures that say to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, is this very same scripture say that yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That's just as much as that there's a hell that Jesus preached about as much as in the Bible says, I could do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That's much as to say the Bible speaks more about hell than Joshua saying, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Why will you nitpick Scripture and yet you will not adhere to the scripture that there is a heaven and hell that God does approve of Bible preaching. That is his way of reaching out to you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It will get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life forever. Names in the Lamb's Book of Life are not blotted out. They're not erased. Though your sins can be erased and forgotten by God. Every hotel motel has a book, has a reservation. Hi, I'm here. I, I made reservations. I, I'm checking into your place. And they'll look on their screen or their book and say, Yep, I see your name. 
and they don't see their your name, and there is no vacancy, you get no room. And in God in heaven, you approach God. Say, hi God, I died. Well, let me check the book. And their names were not found written in the last book of life. They were cast in the lake of fire that burneth forever. That is the second death. Reservations to heaven are made by the blood of Jesus Christ. And the fact is that Jesus Christ suffered according to the scriptures and buried. I mean, and died. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now what are you going to do to top that? Burn a candle? <laughs> Lord, I burned 12 candles in my lifetime. And I put my son on a cross and turned off all the lights when that sin became on him. Now all the angels in heaven rejoices. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. What about your candle? I let my light shine. Without Jesus Christ, you have no light. John chapter 1. See, everything rests upon Jesus Christ, God, manifested in the flesh. There is nothing of. You see, on the world today, you can have a Pepsi, or you can have a Coca-Cola, or you can have a store brand. You can get yourself a bag of M&M's, you can get yourself a bag of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You can get Skittles. You can get a chocolate bar. You can get gum. You can get a breath mint. But when it comes to heaven, there's only one choice. That is Jesus Christ. There is no other. For Jesus said, I am the way. Well, God, look, I got baptism. That's not the way. God, I got married. That ain't the way. God, I beheaded 12 infidels. That ain't the way. The way is Jesus Christ. God, manifest in the flesh, that suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried. And arose again the third day according to scriptures. And your pastor, priest, rabbi can't do that. That's the standard God has set. One way. If you go down the road the wrong way, you may get pulled over by a cop and get a nice big ticket. If you go the wrong way with God, you get the highway to hell. Down. Your father, the devil, the Bible says, is a liar. He's lustful. He's a murderer. And he has no interest of you. The only interest that Satan shows is, I don't want you to give God the glory. Satan is not at the bar room. He don't care. According to the scriptures, Satan is where the seed is being planted. Satan knows where to tempt man. And yes, it angers me when someone comes up trying to avoid and trying to offend the word of God being preached by being an idiot. Because the words that we preach are important, wonderful, lovely words of God. And 
I don't get offended only by an idiot trying to stop the message. I get offended when churches offend the Word of God. And they do. And God will be offended in you when you show up with anything but Jesus. But his offense is for eternal life. Because there's nothing else that can save your soul outside of Jesus. Going all the world and preach the gospel. God says, study to show thyself approved under good man, a workman that needs not to be shamed, but rightly divine the word of truth. My, what fools today. And when you reject Jesus Christ according to the scriptures of the book of Psalms, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And when you reject Jesus Christ, no matter what religion you are, you are rejecting God and you become a fool. Because Jesus is God. God Almighty. And if your religion doesn't include Jesus Christ as God, you got a religion that will get you to hell. Because Jesus is God. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed to proclaim the love of God through Jesus Christ. You may hate it, but tell your gripes and complaints to Jesus. That's not right. And there's nothing new in the Bible. You think, oh, I'm going to do something to offend that priest. Hey, listen, they did it to Moses his entire life. Moses had a whole congregation of bright persons. I may not handle as good as Moses, but Moses got angry one time. And I get angry when people try to offend the gospel. Because it's your eternal life. It's an importance. It is something that you need to move to your number one on your to-do list today. Your shopping list. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That ought to be number one. Because that to-do list may include your death today. You don't know. We're in America. All kinds of people are packing guns. And they're using them in the streets of America. There are people going to movies. They've gone to concerts. They've gone to school. They've gone to do this. And they've entered off into life eternal. And the offender ended up in prison in hotel, correction hotel. And in whatever way you go the way of death, the wages of sin, if it's without Jesus Christ. And he died and buried and woke up in hell. Lifted up his eyes in hell. Then it's too late. Well, I know somebody who died and came back to life. Well, that's not eternal. They will die again. Elijah died. He's going to die again. Lazarus died and came back to life. He died again. The son of the widow of name. He died, came back to life, and died That eternal life that you do die and go where? And if you want to go to heaven, it must be by Jesus Christ. All other attempts fail. On the eternal life issue, you either by Jesus Christ or you fail with anything else. 
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Oh, and people would beg to God about Jesus than they would on the street corner to get free. And yet what God is offering you is free. Your eternal hell one day may be the lake of fire that burneth forever. What kind of home is that? What kind of promise is that? Where God will offer you a city, a brand new body that will never suffer, will never have sorrow. Buddha can't do that for you. New Age can't do it for you. There is no hope in the Pope. There ain't no hope in your priest. They can't keep their hands off children. And that man's going to get you into eternalness with God? How about the sinless Savior? How about God manifested in the flesh? How about God's gift? Jesus Christ. Eternal life lies on the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I did not say that. A Baptist preacher did not say that. No Pope has ever proclaimed that. No Imam can behold the words that I have just said. But only by Jesus Christ manifest in the flesh who is God and did say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now every Jew should know that when Jesus said, I am, that got some people very angry. Let me tell you why they got angry that they almost stoned Jesus. When Jesus proclaimed, I am, that was Jehovah talking to Moses out of the burning bush that did not consume. And Moses said, God, and not I'm not quoting complete, scripture completely. What's your name? They're going to ask me, well, what is the name of God? And God answered, I am that I am has sent you. And when you're a Jehovah Witness and you don't believe Jesus is God, and Jesus said, I am I am the Jehovah of bread. I am Jehovah of the water, living waters. I am the shepherd of the sheep. I am the way. You better believe Jesus said he is God. If Jesus is not God, you will die in your sins and be present in hell. If you die in the belief that Jesus Christ is able to save your soul, the Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. There is no bondage of death in Christ Jesus. Matter of fact, you look for it. 
You look for the, the sky to open up in that Trump to blow. And I ain't talking about the one in Washington, D.C. I'm talking about the holy Trump of heaven, of the archangel. There's no hope in politics. There's no hope in religion. The blessed hope is Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh. Do not die hopeless. If you die without hope, your eternal life will be without hope. Don't die without the love of God. Because you will wake up in a place where there is no love. There is no mercy when you reject Jesus Christ. Grace is the finished work of Jesus Christ. The merit of Jesus Christ. The salvation of Jesus Christ. Taking pictures and all kinds of swahoo over there. Bet they won't get our picture. <laughs> Was he doing some kind of advertising or something? Who is willing to say, Oh, I love to suffer? I just love pain. I don't need the health insurance, I don't need the pills. I, don't, I just want to suffer, suffer, suffer. Oh, it's so great to suffer. Because in hell there is no pain relief. There, are, there may be doctors in hell, but they can't help you. There will be doctors in New Jerusalem, and they can't help you because they will not need to be needed anymore. When God, Jesus Christ, will give us painlessness. When finally, Revelation 22, He wipes away all tears. He gives us a body that will never break down, never be broken, never to be pain, never to be... grow old. And through Jesus Christ, he'll bring you into heaven where you'll be forever without sin. Salvation through Jesus Christ is not just coming out of hell. The health benefits are out of this world. And you don't pay the premium Jesus did with his blood, the blood of God. Acts 20, 28. You don't have to pay nothing to get to heaven. There's no collection plate for salvation. You don't become a member you become a son of God through Jesus Christ by the adoption of God through the Holy Spirit upon believing in Jesus Christ. You can be a member of a church or you can be a son of God. It's a big difference. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's it. All right, guys. Here he is. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. I hope so. Hey, I like this thing about no Santa. I like that. <laughs> I like it. People don't want to hear that stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. That's they why I say it. They hate to hear the truth. That's why I say it. <laughs> Always do this. He's just a liar. Okay. Hey, you guys have a wonderful you day. You too, now. Always good to see you. Hey, are you working with the homeless? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you in church down in uh, First Baptist Church? In no, no, we come out, me and my daughter come out on our own. Oh. And they, give them money. And because give them, someone's, uh, someone's talking about it, and we 
take the car with you right away. Yeah, because yeah. they said that he was a fisherman, not in a boat, but off the fisherman. Yep. Sounds that. like Jeremiah. Yeah. Amen. Have a great day. You too. You better not pout unless you don't believe on Jesus. You will not cry in the eternal life if you believe on Jesus. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Jesus Christ is coming one day. He beholds the people on this earth. He also made the church. Uh, his eyes behold the evil and the good. So you better believe on Jesus. The great lie is Santa. You gotta jumble the words in Santa to get Satan. Imagine a guy coming down the chimney where Jesus Christ came from the throne. They both had red garments. Uh-oh. Both of them said, bring your children to me. Suffer the little children to come on to me, Jesus said. Santa says, put them on my lap, pedophile. He goes peeking in the window to see what you're doing. Santa Claus never proclaimed, he can't, he's nobody. <laughs> that he's the way, the truth, and the life. Easter Bunny don't lay jelly beans unless they're black. And you don't eat those. Hot cross buns, I'll tell you, your hot cross buns burn in the lake of fire for all eternity. There'll be plenty of Baptists in hell. Probably have a table with no food in the front of the fellowship section. I'm good. Oh, there's a lot of people in hell think they're good. A lot of Catholics in hell. I'll tell you who's not in hell. Those have believed on Jesus Christ as their Savior. Those have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. They're not in hell. Bible preachers will not be in hell. You can clap for that if you want. Wow, great guys to clap. The Bible won't be in hell. God won't be in hell. Love won't be in hell. Oh, you want to have more love. You better get it all now because it ain't in hell. There will be no music in hell, but there will be music in glory. Or you can hire the DJ and get the same music played all the time. That's hell. <laughs> There is no laughter in hell. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be no party in hell due to the fire. There will be no refreshments in hell. There will be no alcohol in hell. Oh, but in heaven, there will be God, the Father, Jesus the Son, the Holy Spirit, love, Pure, undefiled, without lust, love. You want the love of God, come to Jesus Christ. It will be for eternally given to you if you're to put your faith and trust in Jesus. There is no joy in hell, but there will be great, great holy joy in heaven. Peace is in heaven. There is 
is no peace, saith the Lord unto the wicked. So there will be no peace in the lake of fire. Scripture with Scripture. You will be homeless in the lake of fire. And no one will give you anything in the lake of fire. You will find priests, pastors, pastorettes, preachers, rabbis, teachers, scientists, educators. You'll find them in hell. You will find those that are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. True Christians in glory. And we sign on to unity by the one that bought us. The one that suffered for us. God says in the Bible, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet. See, it's a sin condition. It's a sin issue. And when you believe on somebody other than Jesus, that's a greater sin. And yet that one sin that will get you into hell is by rejecting Jesus Christ that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. The Father is not in hell. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no vegetation in hell. But in glory there's the tree of life. There's no water in hell. But there's the water of life and eternity coming right out of that throne. There's no life in hell. It's spoken about as wrath. Oh, eternal life for those who have believed on the Son. Capital S O N. It almost looks like that in hell you'll be like a worm. Where their worm dieth not. A maggot. And yet the Bible says, for those that believe on Jesus, we shall be like him. When he appeared to the twelve, including Thomas, after his resurrection, he still had hands. He still had feet. He still had a side. So did the rich man in hell. Jesus said, Peace be unto you, fear not, it is I. The rich man said, oh, if I could just have a little drop of water to cool my tongue. You know, according to the rich man in the Bible, Luke 16, there are people in hell right now that want us to preach to you. God approves of preaching, and people in hell are like, will you go tell my family? Don't come to this place of torment. There are no atheists in hell. The moment you enter hell, you believe in God. Too late. Just too late. Life is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You may pay for life insurance, but D Jesus' death insurance is a premium paid by God and the benefits are out of this world. And it's at no cost to you. But you reap all the benefits. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Some of you come up, you, you, you don't have enough love. Well, you don't realize. 
come on this side of the Bible. Come on this side of Jesus Christ and you will see the love. It says over there in John, and I can't quote it, but you're spiritually discerned because you have not believed on Jesus. You cannot know the things. You are of the world. And the world is enmity against God. God is not going to share His love, His joy, and His peace with people who will not believe in Him. But I can stand to the fact and you can call me a liar. God is great. I've tasted of Him. And I don't mean as a biscuit or a wafer. And some of you may hate what we do. That's okay. It's America. And there are many of you who like what we do. That's wonderful and great. Who are those going to be surrounded by the throne and love and joy and peace and just having a good old time? A good old time. Without sin. Won't be used as scorn. And you're without excuse. You can hear the words, cannot say to God, I never knew. Because God would say, I got the loudest man I could find. And I gave him an amplification. I gave him an amplification voice that he didn't say, these race cars went around 5,000 left-hand turns. Yay! He bounced the ball down the court, bounced the ball back down the court. He didn't say that. He proclaimed that Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. And that I approve of. Romans chapter 10, if you haven't read your Bible. That's not what God would do. That's not what Jesus would do. And God says, I love them feet that carried the good tidings of the gospel. Why don't you shut up and read the Bible? It says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be chained, rightly to find the word of truth. And if your Bible don't have that, you don't have a Bible. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow those that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ forever. In the mercy and love of Jesus Christ and His sin offering to God, you couldn't lose it if you wanted to. Because once you believe on Jesus Christ, you're never lost again. You couldn't be lost from God anyway. God knows everything. He knows whether you are of Christ or you're of Satan. You're not going to fool him. You are not going to get to heaven believing in anything but whatever you want to believe. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. Church. Church can't do it. Baptism. That, that just gets you wet. You wish you had that baptized water in hell, but you can't. I'm a good person. The Bible says there is none that do it good. No, not one. How's that? Well, look at the works I do. Not of works, least any man boast. You know, when you say, look at what I'm doing, you're boasting, that's pride, that's a sin. Add that to your sins. And those sins are able to be washed by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no sinner that God cannot save. 
I'm just too vile. I'm just too wicked. Come to Jesus. He'll take it. He'll wash you. God will honor any man that comes to him and says, I'm a sinner. He don't care what kind of sinner. There are no degrees of sin. All have sinned. Taste of the Lord and see that He's good. You enjoy His vegetation, that's good. Think about how wonderful God is without a cursed ground. That vegetation came from a cursed ground, thanks to Adam. Taste of God who is holy and righteous. Without sin. Perfection. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shallow death, I'm not going to fear no evil, because I have believed on Jesus. How about you? These things have I written unto you, that you may know you have eternal life. How about you? God is not the author of confusion. Thank you.